Alabama, college football's most storied bowl team. They look for success amidst the coaching shakeup, relying on the arm of sophomore quarterback John Parker Wilson. Oklahoma State features a high-powered offense. Sophomore sensation Bobby Reed, quickly rising as one of the nation's top passers. It's an SEC Big 12 matchup. The Petro Sun Independence Bowl starts now. Punt's going to come back near the five-yard line. Matt Fodge will be out there. He averages 46 yards. He's an outstanding kicker. His long this year is 72 yards. He's a sophomore. Puts the foot into it and just gets it away. Fair catch called for. It'll be taken at the 47-yard line. Start with two receivers set to the right side. Darby and McLean are both in there. They go up to the running back, Darby. Darby's going to be decked for a loss. He'll be back to the 44-yard line, loss of four. Let's meet the offense. Man, the way they come up with those. John Parker Wilson at quarterback. They want to try and run the football. They're not going to go anywhere. Oklahoma State, a fumble, and it may have been recovered. It is. Oklahoma State has taken over the football. Looking the Woods on the near side split. They've got three receivers over here. The handoff will be carried down to the 30-yard line. Not enough for a first down. That is Savage. Let's Pettigrew comes back in motion to the far side. Long count against. It's going to pass that way. Going to carry it. 30. Down to the 25. First down and driven out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Bobby Reed with a nine-yard gain. He gets the first down at 10. Oklahoma State, remember, got this great field position off a of fumble. Reed under pressure over the middle. Caught at the three and down at the two-yard line. And that tackle hurt. He got bent into a 21-yard gain. That was Julius Croslin who came in on the last run, not even listed on the depth chart. Second down and goal. Second man out of the eye, and that's in for the touchdown. And that's Savage. His eighth rushing team, Johnson rather, leading the block. Savage carrying it in, and they've got the touchdown. Kid me, I had to beg for a scholarship. That's right. <laughs> Not when you're Mr. Uh, that. Mr. Alabama football. First down and a 10. Looking to go into the air. They dump one at the 25 and up to the 30 yard line. Looks like a first down. That is Darby. This is going to bring up a punting situation for Alabama. They'll be back at the uh, 10 yard line. And uh, the punt put up by P.J. Fitzgerald, who is handled and nothing else. 35-yard line. You've got to take advantage, and they have scored off the only turnover in this football game. Bodge with a great kick into that win. Fair catch called for. The receiver gets run into. His own blocker was right there with him. The ball will go out of bounds. He did have an interim job in Arkansas for a while years back. Last passes, 0 for 4, completes one there to the 30, 35, and not enough for a first down. Just shy, LaRon McClain, the senior. Very well respected in yep. the coaching community. Very well, and the players seem to really like him as well. The carry will be enough for a first down. Castillo, he's their short yardage man. Senior who is out of Birmingham, Alabama, first down to 10. Bama trying to get the tying touchdown up there. They'll go on a little look in at the midfield mark. Probably enough for another first down, 10 yard gain. There is DJ Hall. They've got Jimmy Johns working as the second back. Johns on the carry over midfield. Booms ahead all the way down to the 40-yard line. Andre Sexton stopped him an eight-yard gain. Second down, very short yardage. One to play with here. Nope. Going to go for that first down and get a lot more of it. Here's some Bama football for you. Down to the 29, LaRon McLean, 11. But right now having some success on the ground, the top. They did rush against Oklahoma State during the season. The option pitch to the 30, the 25-yard line, and out of bounds. That is Johns again on the carry, the sophomore. All right, second down, second down and five. They'll take it to the right side, try and turn a corner. They do at the 20. That'll be a first down. Brought it from the near side, six-yard gain. Keith Brown, the wide receiver on the carry, all coming to the sideline on this first down and 10. They overload it to the near side, wide side. John Parker Wilson will send the man in motion back the other way. Looking on the deep drop, wants to go to the end zone. Das, caught, touchdown! A diving catch by Matt Cadell, a junior for the TD. Really had a breakout season for Rich Brooks in the Kentucky Look at Rock. the top of your picture there. You saw the three receivers lined up, and then they run the play right straight ahead to Savage, who gains five yards. How many guys will have uh, Clemson certainly ready? Look at that. 
over there on the side. Three receivers lined up, and again, they run it the other way. So they're just trying to get that defensive Alabama moved over there. They are setting it up for something. Yet Tate just keep an eye on it. I think these offensive coaches like the month they had off. They're getting to run all kinds of plays over midfield. Good carry. Oklahoma State, that'll be a 10-yard gain. Savage again. Offensive line said thank you very much. We'll take the five yards. First down at five out of the backfield of the 35-yard line. Good hit put on, but a good gain before they took him down. Rashad Johnson on the hit, but an eight-yard gain. Averaging 46 yards on the season. He's standing back at midfield as he takes the snap. Tries to boot one towards the coffin corner. Fair catches. Signaled, not caught, and a great touchdown. That will be marked down at the one-yard line. Darby is in the backfield. He's the last man back in the two-man running back set. And uh, Darby, they fake to him. Wilson looking over the middle, gets a rush. It's completed, and it's a first down. Keith Brown. It'll bring up a third down. Castillo stays in the backfield. Wilson long yardage, third and 13. On the near side, wide open, turns it up to the 20 and bowls his way out of bounds with a flag down on the play. Keeping them behind the down and distance markers. Oh, you're going to have 59 of the offense. Half the distance to the goal for the previous spot. Still third down. You see standing way back the back of the end zone here to do this punting. And uh, plenty of time to get it off. And a good kick. Hits on the back of somebody. And the question's going to be, who did it hit? Alabama moving. Cornerbacks and linebackers in and out of those holes. You see all the movement on that Alabama defense going on here. Quick drop. Look to the near side. alley you catch. One-handed. All the way down to the nine-yard line. Second down and goal. Again, the three receivers split to the right. Tostin's in the backfield. They bring a man in motion back to the short side. Roll it out the right side. Looking Reed at the 10. Wants to carry and is going to be taken down after a two-yard gain. Personal foul. Number five of the defense. After this is goal from the end of the run. Automatic first down. That is a big break for Oklahoma State. Now they get a they get the first down and they get the ball moved up inside the five yard line. Reed uh, hands off and it's a touchdown. Take it in off the right side by Tostin. His fifth touchdown of the year. So Oklahoma State immediately takes advantage of that Alabama penalty. You saw Brown kind of backpedaling and reaching out. <laughs> That's usually P.J. Right. Fitzgerald. The kick is up in the air, and it'll be all the way back to the 42. Flag goes down, 50. Nobody out there but the kicker. Back to the 20-yard line. The spin at the 10-5. Touchdown! Tommy Devereaux, but a flag is down on the play. It would have been the only punt return they've had returned. During the return, blocking the back, number 17, the receiving team. Wow. Ten yards to spot the foul, first down. Consoled by teammates over there, so it brings up a first down at 10 with the ball at the 36-yard line. Oklahoma State, let's try it again. Going up to midfield, 45, and down to the 43-yard line. That is savage. And you'll, you'll see him right here just coming underneath Bobby Reed, sees it, and hits the hole right up the middle of the formation. Dan Trell Savage, this one's taken to the 25-yard line, 24, and Alabama's got to get the whole defensive unit over there on Brandon Pettigrew, and no wonder. He was their third leading receiver during the year with 20 catches. He'll go straight up the middle on this one and inside the 20-yard line, Tostin. So Savage and Tostin running the football almost equally well out of that backfield. Savage is that running back who is deep here in a third down and short yardage for Oklahoma State. And the Savage is the man who's going to go for the first down. He pulls ahead to get it. That is a second and third effort right there. 28-yard attempt here for Jason Ricks, who is 8 out of 10. Longest 53. That one is up. A 28-yard field goal attempt, and it is good. So he puts it through. They got the field position they wanted, and they extend their lead. It is a second down now at 12. A loss of two. From under center, going to go to the air. That is going to be caught. 
and uh, will be taken up to the 29-yard line. A uh, gain of 10, but they needed 12 for a first down. D.J. Hall, you see him right there, coming up big for this Bama offense. He has had seven 100-yard or more receiving games this year. Straight ahead, up to midfield, and slipped at the 49-yard line. Jimmy John's a 21-yard gain. Ball at the 49-yard line, Alabama. Trying to move into Cowboy territory. A little flip pass to the near side. They'll do it. 45-40. Got a little room along the sideline and down to the 31-yard line. Kenneth Darby on the carry. Play. Personal foul. 93 of the defense. That's 15 yards to the end of the run. First down. That turns into a 45-yard play. 30 on the carry, 15 on the penalty. John Johns is in the backfield near near side to the five-yard line. They faked it to Johns. Codell on the carry. He's going to get 10 yards. First down and goal. First and goal for Alabama. They go to Johns. 5-4. Down to the 1. And not in. And a mark him just short. It'll bring up a third down and goal. McLean and Castile in the backfield. Try it again. Castile goal line. Touchdown! They get it in. Oklahoma State can't believe it. They didn't think they crossed the line. Andre Sexton was saying, no, no, no. Basketball coaches you guys talked about, Bob Knight, on the brink of history, all coming up in a bit. All right, that'll be in our halftime. That's uh, going to be carried up to near midfield. He's got to just stand in there, be strong in the pocket. Bobby Reed, that sophomore quarterback on the handoff. That'll be brought downfield to about the 44-yard line. That is tossed in again. Keep an eye on the clock now. You get a minute 27 left to go. Both teams with, with timeouts remaining. And not only that, there was uh, medical attention being uh, rendered to Darby down on the sideline. Looks like he's okay. We'll see. And this conversion uh, is going to be carried to the 40. And uh, who's got the football? It came out and it got yeah. kicked forward. And it looks like Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. See that football scored it ahead. First down and 10. They want to get in field goal range if they can. Throwing down the middle. That's going to be caught at the 25-yard line. You talk about throwing through defenders. Brandon Pettigrew, a 15-yard reception. <laughs> Alabama defense is going to rise up now as uh, they've only got three down linemen. Reed on the handoff inside the 20 and inside the 15-yard line. That is Tostin again on the carry. You have plenty of time. they still got the time out in their back pocket and just want to take it down where you don't leave Alabama with anything on the clock. Reed looking to the near side. It is caught and taken out of bounds at the seven-yard line. That is Woods for a seven-yard gain. It's a first down for Oklahoma State as opposed to Alabama having a, the football going down with a couple of times, with three timeouts trying to score. That is a big play not made by Alabama. Touchdown! Tostin, three yards! What a drive in the closing moments of the first half for Oklahoma State. I need counseling for chocolate. I'll counsel you. <laughs> Give it to me. Hand it over. They do go straight ahead rather than going for long yardage. That'll be a four-yard gain to the 24. That is Darby on the carry. Darby, career-wise, over 3,300 yards. Came into the game with 11 touchdowns scored for the senior. Playing in his final game for Alabama. And they're going to let it go right there with the final 10 seconds ticking off here at the Petrosun Independence Bowl in Shreveport. They'll take it to the locker room with a fine offensive performance by both teams, but Oklahoma State getting a key touchdown in the final minute of the first half extended their lead to 24-14. All right, Todd, Bobby Reed went 6 for 14, 101 yards of passing. Alabama's got the football first and uh, 10. It'll be carried to the near side, 30-yard line, and driven out of bounds. D.J. Hall, a six-yard gain, watching his team with the football on the second down and four. They did not have good field position most of the first half. That one's uh, taken and uh, down at the 35-yard line. Five-yard gain, Will Oakley in the receiving department. Keith Darby out of the backfield at three receptions for 27 yards to lead Alabama in that department. Wilson, the quarterback, was 8 for 17 with a touchdown pass. That's going to be carried to the 42-yard line, a six-yard gain. That is Darby. They were 40% on third down conversions on the year. Castile's in the backfield. They're going to pass. Big rush. Avoids the hit. He can get the first down on his legs and does. Just shy of midfield and the carry for seven yards. Alabama would love to score here in this opening drive of the second half. Castile's in the backfield blocking. 
Good protection. Over the middle. It is caught. And that's going to be enough for a first down. And then some at the 33. This is the 11th play of the drive. Second time they've had to convert on the third down situation. They are needing this one. They need the football. And uh, still on the fly. They're going to get it. Down to the 15-yard line. Tim Castile. They've got five receivers available here for Wilson. Wilson. First down is at the five. They're not there. and They're going to be shy of it by a yard and a half. So they will go for it. Jamie Christensen, who's 12 for 16 in the field goal department. A 24-yard attempt here for the junior kicker for Alabama. E.J. Fitzgerald, the holder. The kick is up, and it is good. So they get three out of that. Everything worked super for us this year. Great year. You've been generous with your money throughout the university and the international community. We thank you for that. Your ideas and your perspective on the game tonight. Third and 11, so Bobby Reed will go back and take this out of the gun. Looking for the first down. Big rush from the cornerback. Flags are down. Probably a holding call yeah. as Alabama on the last two plays has brought everybody into the box. Good job by the Alabama defense now after they got that field goal in their first possession of the half. Now they've got a chance to get it back. Boge will do the kicking. He waits, puts the foot into it at the 40. Fair catch is called for and handled at the 15-yard line. Defensively, you hold and you get the football back with an opportunity to tie up this ball game. Ian Dave Rader, the offensive coach, making the changes. That's going to be carried by Wilson to the 23, 24-yard line, and he gets hog time there that'll be a, a gain of six the coaching scenario for Alabama the fact that they've gone a month without a coach is a big interest he, he does, says no he says no but uh, those close to this program say he, uh, he he's still interested he's we got a reason yeah. the reasons why he's interested pretty emphatic about it this past week that'll be for a first down caught at the 30 yard line gain of six BJ Fitzgerald averaging 38 yards a putt dangerous kick Ooh, how did he get that off it will hit at the 40-yard line and take an Alabama bounce and be downed at the 34-yard line. Brings up the second down and uh, 10. Looking to the far side after the fake. And uh, that is going to be completed. It's enough for a first down, and that is Woods. They go right back to him. He's in the backfield here with the two receivers off on the short side. Savage on the carry. Keeps the knees moving. He'll get close to the first down marker. Seven-yard gain. Dukes on the hip. They're going to go for the first down on a fourth down and one. Bobby Reed spins, and he's got that and a lot more. As he takes the ball down to about the 37-yard line, that's what Alabama's done in this game to try and work against the pass. They blitz here. It is completed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That is Woods. That will be a six-yard gain. Another big third down play. Work out of the gun. Looking to the near sideline. And the first tackle missed. Great second and third effort. You had to get up to the 28-yard line. Brings uh, his man back into the backfield. That is Savage who blocks for him. Alley oops one down the sideline, pushing, shoving, incomplete, and there's the flag. Had to bring the flag on that one. A little bit too much shoving by Ramsey Robinson. First down and goal just inside the 10 yard line. First and goal. Savage is in the backfield. Alabama brings everybody up. One on one coverage. That is caught. Touchdown. Great pass laid into the hands of Bowman for a 10 yard TD. And a big third down play, third and eight, seven for 12, third down conversions. Three receivers off to the right, looking downfield, gets it away. It is intercepted at midfield. That'll be turned back to the 45, and down goes Donovan Woods, the former quarterback, who is now the quarterback on defense. Bodge has got to come on to do the kicking. He has made a big difference in this game for the Cowboys. His kicking game, while he hasn't had to have a lot of long ones, they've been good kicks that have been down and put Alabama in tough territory at the 15-yard line. That will be returned up to the 30. There's nobody there. Nothing but green grass, folks. Touchdown, Alabama on the punt return. That is Arenas. And we told you if you give them a chance, the two they have back, Arenas and Johnson, will cause damage. And they work on it more than ever. And uh, you're exactly right, Andre. That's why it happens. That's going to be taking a yard deep into the end zone, up to the 10-yard line, and fumble! And Alabama, I believe, got it. They do! Right after.
after the return. Grant Jones coughs one up. All right, Reese, here's a big third down. Third and nine. Uh, looking over the middle. Caught at the five and down to the two-yard line. Dover on the catch for 17 yards. Tim Castillo, he just checked out. But Darby's in. Now you can just walk. John Parker Wilson into the end zone. Darby has come back in there. He's their leading ground gainer. Goes the other way on the pass to the end. It's a flag down. That is Andre Smith, the left tackle, who was trying to be a qualified receiver, but a flag immediately went down. Yeah, and, and, no and I'll tell you, they're going to wave it off because this pass was completed behind the line of scrimmage, which he doesn't have to declare to, uh, to the officials whether he's eligible or not. It's like it's a backwards pass. Amazing. That is amazing. Amazing. I did not know that. Walter, thank you very much. The play to the near side on the dump pass, 25-30. Oklahoma State's not going away here. That is Savage on the catch for eight yards. Now, all eyes are on you. What are you going to do as the quarterback of this football team? Three down linemen now as they were looking for the pass. It'll be carried straight ahead. And 20 for the first down. It'll be a second down and 10. The Cowboys with the football in a tie football game. Looking. Alley-oop pass. That's up for grabs, and that's going to be taken by Alabama on the interception. That is Castile. Simeon Castile, who is all SEC, a junior, leads this team with six interceptions. Castile's the lone setback. Another big third down play. Alabama off the near side at midfield, and that should be enough for the first down, a six-yard gain. Alabama could win this football game. Does Joe Kynes get a better shot at becoming head coach? He's the interim. Only one way to find out for him. He wants the job. That'll be carried to the 30, 42-yard uh, line, rather. That is Darby again, almost stripped of the football, four-yard gain. Let's check in with Reese Davis. Third down. Alabama in this tie football game in Cowboy territory. Big rush gets away. Trips did not put a knee down, but he's going to be taken down at about the 45-yard line for a five-yard loss. Jamie Christensen will come on. Fifth punt for Alabama. Uh, P.J. Fitzgerald, rather, to do the kicking. Fitzgerald, high kick. I'll let that one bounce, and it'll go out of bounds at about the 15 or 16-yard line. So a 31-yard punt, more importantly than the distance, so going to be a tough field position for the Cowboys offensively. We have seen trick plays that have been run all day. Savage, their leading ground gainer, out of the backfield. 30-yard line, 35, and up to the 39-yard line. It plays so well against the run and can cover tight ends and backs out of the backfield that they line him up at uh, that outside linebacker. Done a fabulous job. 73 tackles, five tackles for a loss is what he had. And uh, this one will be taken up to the 48-yard line. Bobby Reed, the quarterback, gets an eight-yard gain on that one. Reed will work out of the gun, sending Anthony Parks in motion to the left side. He's looking that way. Parks hasn't caught a pass, won't hear either, but it will be caught, taken up to about the 42 by Bowman. This is a third down and nine for Oklahoma State. Bowman on the near side, they look to him, don't go, dump it on the screen pass. 40, 35, there's the yardage they needed. The Cowboys will take that one all the way down to the 16, and Savage is again the receiver. He gets 25 yards. Well, he's a special player. Tostin has come on in the backfield. The clock is running with 39 seconds left to go. Tie game. Cowboys will run this on the ground. Tostin carries it ahead inside the 10. Eight-yard gain. Clock still running. They've got timeouts here. They're going to let it run. Alabama will move everybody up, try and bring someone through to try and block this kick. Cole Reynolds, as much pressure on him, the holder, as there is on the uh, kicker. Snap is a good one. The kick is up, and it is good. And the Cowboys take a three-point lead. Well, unsportsmanlike, that's going to be after the kick, so it'll be marked off. You mark off that penalty, so the ball is spotted at the 20 for the kick. 
And they're going to let that one roll. Don't want a clean handle on this. Taking on the side fight, uh, Johnson. Johnson looked as though he wanted to lateral. He does. It's dumped back to the 15-yard line. The clock has expired, and the Cowboys need to make a tackle to end this game. They make it another touchdown. That's taken at the five, and that's going to do it. As the Oklahoma State Cowboys have come away with a 34-31 win over Alabama. Congratulations to the Cowboys and Alabama for a great bowl game.